Arcadiana is Ali Bear. Welcome back. It is 7.53 this morning. There are so many great cooks in Acadiana, but only some of them are actually located in restaurants. Sometimes we just find them in their kitchen. Yes, we're going to send it to Al Abair. He's been having a blast this morning with two very wonderful twins. They've been doing a great job. Let's talk about this flatbread. When are we going to get into it and really try it? I've been waiting, Al. This, this looks good. Hey, you know, it, it's a slow build, Alex, a slow build. We had to get everything ready. Shrimp ready, mushrooms ready, onions are ready. Uh, Morgan and Taylor, uh, and you're going to use this locally sourced olive oil. Tell us about the olive oil. Yeah, so this is our favorite garlic infused olive oil from Gray's Acadiana right there on Arnold Boulevard. Um, local company, awesome people, and this is our favorite to use on our flatbreads. So we pour it on and brush it. This is our little base. Is that enough? Yep. Oh, nice. Brush it on. I like everything infused with garlic. Me too. You can even put roasted garlic on this flatbread. It takes mm. it up a notch. This is my favorite part. We're building the flatbread now, right? Yep. So we brushed it with our favorite olive oil from Gray's Acadiana. Now we're going to do our goat cheese. This is where it gets a little bit messy, but this is the star of the show. Got it. We love goat cheese. Can never be too much. <laughs> so you just crumble that goat crumble cheese on there. Okay. I almost thought you would have spread it. Nope. I like the crumbles. Crumble that goat cheese and then you top it with whatever you want. So onions, mushroom, shrimp is what we're going to do today. You could do black olives and then we got to cook it up. So we do you put it in the oven now to melt the cheese or to nope. warm it? Nope. Build it all up first and then we'll put it in the oven all at the same time. So what goes onions. next? Onions. See our nice brown caramelized onions. I love that. That, so that good. took a long time. You got to be patient. Yeah. I don't know if I'm patient enough. That's, uh, of course, you're also cooking on a gas stove, which makes a difference too, I think. You know? And that stainless steel pan, that weighs a ton. That's a really good stainless pan. Uh, your husband, Brandon, got that, right? Yes, he okay. did. Good choice, Brandon, on the pan. All mushrooms. right, some mushrooms. Mmm. I like that. This is looking pretty. I like that. It's a great color, and your plates are kind of kind of matched. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're going to finish making this. We're going to go back to you guys in the studio. Uh, this is incredible. And it smells so amazing. I wish we could smell it ourselves. Mm. Thank you, Al.